Okay guys, so in this video I'm going to show you that how you can upload your files um, in the server uh, in Node application. Maybe you are using Express. Uh, so how do you uh, how do you upload that particular image? Uh, so here I'm going to demonstrate you using Node.js. Maybe you are in PHP. Maybe you are in some other uh, other language. So you can use it of accordingly because um, here they have provided documentation for almost other all programming languages so here I'm going to say with you that how we can upload um, images you can upload videos too but I am uh, especially in this video I'm going to show you that how to upload images on the server see uh, there are two ways in which you, uh, you can upload images to the server uh, I am talking in the in the database sorry in the database or, or server you can say that uh, in the server uh, maybe you can the first ever thing which you can do uh, is uploading that uh, in the form of blob um, in the database and save that in the form of database in the database now the, uh, the second approach which is the most optimal approach is uh, you save it in some kind of server and then you just retrieve it from there using CDN uh, that is the most optim optimal approach that most developers and companies use because that saves a lot of time in rendering of that image and a whole lot of things so first uh, so so Cloudizer is a platform which uh, which allows you to store images in their server and use their links that they have created okay uh, now about the pricing policy, Cloudinary is absolutely true if you are learning that. But if you want to do some business out of it, or maybe you are an entrepreneur or something like that, then you can also buy their premium plans also. Like uh, if I am going to the pricing section right here. Uh, here you can see there's uh, maybe four major plans out there by them so you can use free one if you are using it for learning process and you should use free also because uh, in learning you can't afford to pay such amount uh, per month to some server company so 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 first everything which you are going to use uh, do is uh, sign up here okay after signing up you will be redirected to this uh, console or you can say dashboard where you will find your cloud name, API key, API secret and all of this and you must store them in your .env files as you know because that will be much more secure uh, I have already stored it in my .env file and I have created one demo um, demo application right here which you can see here uh, it's a demo application that I have created here um, where I have just used express here we have to use express require express oh and we are using here let me uh, code it uh, once more because my auto formatting has messed it up, messed it up. Uh, this uh, express and we have to use your dot env also okay but that should be in the first one okay now in here we are going to use that dot env file and then we are going to require express then we are going to require our cloudinary cloudinary and Then we are going to require no, that's it. Uh, so now we are good to go. Uh, we have required Express Cloudinary uh, uh, by which we are going to use that. So first of all thing uh, which we are going to use is uh, uh, configuring our Cloudinary uh, in in our server. So for that, uh, we are we are going to, uh, first we go to the documentation page, and here we can see a documentation. And if we just hover it, uh, you can see a Node.js. Just click that.
here if you scroll a little bit you can see here integration overview just click that and below a little bit it has configured that now in here cloudinary.config and cloud name api key api secret and a whole lot of things so just copy that and paste it in here ordinary config cloud name should be uh, maybe that should be according to my env file oh, i have named that uh, uh, process dot env dot um, name and for a key which is same process dot env dot key and then secret uh, that should be process dot env dot secret and that's all we have we have configured our ordinary okay and then um, actually first we should visit the slash now it is showing something like uh, that showing hello but uh, but we want to upload an image whenever we visit that slash okay so for that uh, again go there uh, you can see here it is saying that we have to do something like cloudinary dot uploader dot upload and the name of the file then a callback so we are not going to do, do it like that we are not going to do it like that so we are going to do it something different uh, in here we are going to use ordinary dot uploader dot upload and in here we are going to pass here the name of the file 5 dot jpg and after that we are going to it is going to re return a promise I mean, because it's an asynchronous process so it always returns a promise so we have to handle that using bin catch but mm, then just like that and here is the problem uh, we are getting errors we can we can get physical term we can get error so in case of error we are just going to send json response json and error we must return that and in case of result we are going to just uh, return the result also return uh, res dot json result okay uh, so first we have to hit the slash and then it is going to upload that so let's try that if you refresh that Now you can see here it is being uploaded. Okay, uh, upload e drag and something like that. If you go to the URL, secure URL here it is given here. Secure URL like this and this. Okay. just like that. If you copy this and if I go there and just paste it right here. If I hit enter. You can see your image is uploaded, and we can use this image in our image SRC file or something like that. And in here, we can see if we reload that our in our console, you can see the same image is being uploaded right here also. I don't know why my net is too slow right now. <laughs> so now you got to know that how we can upload a file on a server. Now let's see that how we can delete a file. Means I want to delete that file. 
then what should be the method to delete that file okay so we are going again here to make one one more route which is slash delete then app dot get under that we are going to pass a slash delete and after that we are going to pass a callback mm, under that clock callback we are going to use something like res and response res comma sorry request comma response after that in here we are going to write some code to delete a file okay so how we delete a file so for that again we are going back to the documentation here go to that one uh, references and under that we can find your admin api okay just click that Now here, um, in the API, admin API reference, uh, let's scroll a little bit, delete a file, So if you have to search a little bit for deleting the file, uh, maybe here we can see here, here, here. Uh, deleting and you can see here by clicking this deleting resources, you can see your syntax delete class resources slash clone resources type. Uh, I mean scroll a little bit here we can see you can upload it uh, by various methods like uh, using public IDs or maybe uploading by images per prefix the most effective way is using public id because that is going to save you when when you are uploading that image in database then you should upload two things first one is image url and the other one is that particular image public uh, public id if you don't know what is public id uh, let me walk you through that if the listen response which we have returned right here one is asset id and one is public id so the public id uh, of every image is different okay so passing that public id will just delete this particular uh, this particular image okay so for deleting that particular image you have to use something called public id so here First, uh, we have to check our framework, which is no, uh, no uh, runtime. Sorry, this is Node.js. So in Node.js, we can see a cloudinary v 2 api resources. Uh, right here, just we are going to copy this one. Uh, v 2 api resources on this one. Up to this much, and it it it, it again returns a promise. Okay, so we have to handle that. Uh, it again returns a promise again. What happened? Now in the then part we are going to uh, use that response 
and they're sending back there. Uh, let's start JSON response, and we have written that. And here is JSON, and in the catch part, we are going to use something like uh, error, and we are going to throw that through that too. Okay. So, in the error, we also do the same. Res dot JSON. Again, we are passing here error. And then we are going to save that. Now we have to pass here what we call uh, a public ID. Okay, to delete that image. So for that, we are going to here localhost and we are going to paste that. Copy this one public ID because we want to delete this image. So we have to copy this one and we have to just paste that code right that ID right here and as soon as uh, now in your case in the application case this may be coming up from the database or something here somewhere else but here I'm just putting it manually so uh, just uh, giving that ID and it is going to give us response error and if you hit the route call slash delete and hit enter Now you can see here we are again get response which is deleted uh, given the name of the ID. This colon deleted means this ID got deleted. And if you go over uh, console management and this is that Now we can see that uh, that t-shirt image got deleted. So there are a couple of more things that you can do, like updating that image. Let me let me walk you through. You can here up update your image, delete image, wait, uh, like updating image, deleting image, searching for image, and a whole lot of things which you can do, like editing the image before uploading that, or you can may up maybe upload video also. Um, you can go through the documentation thoroughly. If you can't understand that, then do let me uh, do DM me on my Instagram. Then I would help you. Uh, else, I would make a separate video for you. If it is possible that to help that in the Instagram, then I will surely have that. Because, but uh, if that's not, then I will make a separate video regarding that topic. So to so to understand you all. Uh, so hope you like this video. Do it a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And in case if you are in case uh, your friend do also need such uh, videos, do share them also because sharing is caring. And thanks for watching this video.